good morning students now we are going to discuss on the topic uh, lexical analysis this is going to be one of the important topic in uh, uh, unit 1 uh, principles of compiler design uh, subject so in structure of compiler the first phase which is going to be lexical analysis phase so this is going to be very very important phase and very very important topic that we have to concentrate on because this is going to be the start phase and then uh, based on this particular phase only the subsequent phases used to work so we have to concentrate much on this particular topic lexical analysis um so uh, this is going to be the introduction for uh, lexical analysis so in this introduction part um we have to describe that we have some seven phases in structure of compiler the seven phases are uh, lexical analysis syntactic analysis and then intermediate code generation and then code optimization and then code generation and then with this five phases we have two more phases which used to work uh, with all these five phases the two more phases are symbol table generation and then error correction and error detection so these are the seven phases that we have in uh, structure of compiler um, so the first phase which is going to be lexical analysis so in lexical analysis um phase which is going to be an important phase because all the other phases which depends on this particular lexical analysis phase so here um the lexical analysis uh which we have the prototype uh, which have the mechanism named as lexical analyzer uh, which used to read the stream of character from source program and then after reading those input we used to divide those uh, a uh, stream of characters into some meaningful lexemes or else we used to call it as an tokens so the output of the lexical analyzer which is going to be with some combinations of the token name and then attribute value so which is simply like an token name and its serial number we are going to uh, derive these things out of lexical analysis phase so this will be done by your lexical analyzer or else simply we used to call it as a scanner so whatever the process that we are doing doing over here we used to call it as a scanning process mm, so you will have some uh, token name and then you will have some attribute values as an output of a lexical analysis phase so we have an uh, example over here the simple expression we are going to take some simple expression then we are going to learn using those expression as position equal to initial plus rate into 60 this is going to be a simple expression so this is an um, input that we are going to take from a source program and then we are going to perform the lexical analysis process so in step 1 Mm, the position that particular uh, uh, variable name will be uh, taken and then that is going to be the token or lexeme output of your lexical analysis phase to that i am going to add some attribute value as id comma 1 and the next one which is going to be equal to which is an assignment symbol and which is going to be an lexeme and then uh, we are going to map it to the token equal to and then the third one which is about uh, uh, initial which is a variable name and then which is going to be an a token or lexeme to that i'm going to map the attribute value id comma 2 and then the next symbol which is plus which is an lexeme and then next symbol uh, which is a variable name rate which is an lexeme to that i'm going to add attribute value id comma 3 and then to the next symbol which is an um, asterisk and the next symbol which is going to be your 60 so these are the various lexemes that you are going to get out of this lexical analysis phase and then the prototype or the model which is going to perform these things we used to call it either as an lexical analyzer 
or uh, scanner or the process that you're going to perform here is scanning process mm. and then the uh, so these are the tokens that we have uh, constructed out of this lexical analysis space so here um, in this example so we used to call it as in translation of assignment statement so this example uh, is very important to learn some various uh, process that we have over here in this uh, structure of compiler so in this actually we are performing the topmost process alone we are taking the input question equal to initial plus rate into 60 and then we are using lexical analyzer and then we are going to convert into uh, some lexemes with its attributes values as a id1 for position and initial for id2 and then uh, id3 for uh, rate so these are the output that we are going to get out of uh, uh, lexical analyzer so after this uh, this particular input will be free to syntax analyzer which is going to construct uh, um, the syntactic tree and then finally you will have some various conversion process over there finally which is going to generate some code out of it and that particular code could be executed um, using some uh, um, environment computer uh, compiler execute execution environment we would be able to um, execute it so this is going to be uh, the various process that we have over here in uh, uh, lexical analysis uh, phase so it's uh, very simple so you people have to be very clear that lexical analysis is nothing but uh, which is going to be the first phase of compiler and then which is going to take the uh, source program as an input and which is going to produce the token as an output the token is nothing but whatever uh, the token that you're going to get it may be an keyword uh, or it may be an identifier name so all those things we still call as tokens and to that we are going to add some attribute values to differentiate and to identify and uh, uh, to name those things we are using uh, these uh, uh, lexical analysis uh, phase so with this uh, i am stopping this presentation so students uh, kindly concentrate much on this particular topic lexical analysis so thank you students, thank you for listening.